Good morning, homestead friends. This morning we're going to do a short and sweet little presentation on generators. I always make generators part of my solar designs. It makes sense. You can keep your cost down on your solar system by making it smaller and use your generator for those special times when you need a big punch of power. Like when you're putting in a fence and you want to use an electric post hole digger like I do. It's great. So we'll talk a little bit about generators because I see people misuse them. And when you do that, they don't last very long. But they can last for years and years with just a little bit of care. You can get several different types of generators. First, the one that's probably the best is the diesel generator, which I've never owned because they're quite expensive up front. Now, the cost will work out. They'll actually be cheaper over the long run, but the initial cost is considerably more. The diesel generator runs at 1,800 RPMs, whereas the gasoline generator runs at 3,600 RPMs. And just for that reason alone, the diesel generator lasts a lot longer because it doesn't beat itself to death. But I can afford the gas-powered ones and often the propane-powered ones. Now, the propane-powered is just a gas one with a special carburetor adjustment so that it will run on propane. And I just had my first one. I bought my first propane generator just a few months ago, and man, I really like it. It's quieter, it's cleaner running, and you don't have to worry about the gas turning into lacquer. So the propane, you can store basically forever. You don't have to worry about fumes, you don't have to worry about the smell. We use the little 22 pound barbecue size propane tanks. They're really handy and they'll run that generator for quite a long time. Depends on how hard you're working it. Let's talk a little bit about the size. Sizing the generator is important. It needs to be big enough to do the job, but you don't want to have a monster to run one light bulb. You kind of need to have the right size for the job. I have two. One of them is 8,700 watts. That's how they're rated in watts usually. 8,700. That's a pretty big unit. It's not really portable. It weighs about 230 pounds. What I did is I put it on a trailer so that I can move it around where I need it, but I have to have a vehicle in order to do that. But it has enough power for just about anything that you can throw at it, you can weld with it, you can run a, a very deep water pump with it. It will do just about anything that you need. The other one I have is about a 4,000 watt generator, the little propane job is about a 4,000 watt. Now that's pretty, pretty light powered for some of the heavy products. Like if you're trying to run a big table saw, for instance, the 4,000 may not do it. The 8,700 will. If you need help with that, I can kind of help you walk through that with you. You can give me a call and I'll, I'll size it for you, help you find the right size for your use. How do you make them last? That's the key. Most people will run their generators too long these gas-powered generators and propane-powered generators are really not made to run eight hours at a time. I try to never run mine more than a couple of hours, and usually a little less than that. If I'm, say, pumping water, I may have a big project and I may need to, to pump water for four or five hours, but I'll let it run for a couple of hours, I'll let it cool, I'll go back and let it run for a couple more hours. That intermittent use will make that generator last a long, long time. One thing that you need to do before you ever run your generator is check the oil. This is something you're going to do every single time. Before you start that generator, you check that oil. A lot of generators have a very short life because someone just runs all of the oil out of them. And these engines are not made real tight, you know, of the highest quality. So they tend, to use a little oil in operation. So check the oil every single time. Another thing that you can do is you can use synthetic oil. Synthetic oil tends to be a little slicker and it will add some life to your unit. When you are using your gas type generator, most people don't use them enough. 
And so they fill up that tank and the gas gets bad after really just a few months. The new gas formulas don't last very long. And so in a few months, that turns to lacquer, that messes up your carburetor and pretty soon it just won't run. What you wanna do is you, a lot of them will have a shutoff valve for the gas. And if you have that, the engine is running, you've done your job, now you wanna shut it off, you just turn that off. Now it's gonna take a few minutes to run all of the gas out of the carburetor. And by doing that, the carburetor doesn't get all junked up with lacquer from the gasoline. And again, it'll last years and years. It's a good habit for all of your power tools that use gas. Run all of the gas out of them every time if you can. Another thing that happens with the gas powered and the propane powered units is because they are running at 3,600 RPMs, there's a lot of vibration. And what will happen is all the nuts and bolts will tend to loosen on there. So what I do when they're new is I tighten those down and I put just a little drop of super glue on all those. And that keeps that thing together. I do that on a lot of my gear and people say, are you crazy? You'll never get it off. No, you can get it off. You don't just smother it, just put a drop on there. And that'll keep that thing operating for years and years. When you're using your generator, when it first starts out, it's not up to perfect speed yet. It's not making 110 or 120 volts. And that less than enough power can do damage to your equipment. And it's not good for the generator either. So the idea is you wanna get the generator running and then plug in whatever you need to plug in. And then at the end of the day, when you're done with using the generator, the first thing you do is unplug everything that you had plugged in. And then what we do here is we turn off the gas and it takes about three minutes for the generator to run all the gas out of the carburetor. And therefore you don't have gas sitting in that carburetor that's gonna make it hard to start later on. I hope this has been helpful to you. I find the generators are a great tool and they're very useful if you're using solar as a backup. And I use them to keep my batteries topped off. And you can read about that in the solar section of our training manual. All of this information, as a matter of fact, is in the training manual. So you can go there. It's free. Download that thing and keep that generator going for years and years. Thanks for dropping in. We'll see you next time. Now remember, keep your eyes on the sky. He's coming back soon. Yes, we're all in a master plan Though the things we do Are just grains of sand When these things are touched By the master's hand Then our lives turn into mountains In a master plan Turn into mountains in a master play. She can do this. Mm -hmm. She can say, Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hey, go open that door, let a little cool air in. Just leave the door open for a while. All right. There might be a fly out there somewhere that needs a home. Most people... Working on that. ...videos that I had on him. <laughs> <laughs> he can add those. Oh, he can add those, yeah. If he wanted to be infantile... I think... <laughs> <laughs> Don't... I win! <laughs> Okay, what I want to do next, buddy.